For that day's trip to Luxembourg, the Duchess chose Amelia Wickstead, a favorite designer. Kate donned her Amelia Wickstead coat dress, is a custom design made in Luxembourg from a double wool creep material. The dress has the fitted bodice, full skirt, set in waistband, peak lapels, and long sleeves that the Duchess loves so much. The material has a strong resemblance to one of the designer's pieces from the A. A W 2017 collection. Kate accessorized with a pair of trench-colored L.K. Bennett Fern shoes, $345. The Duchess wore brand new earrings from Kiki McDonough, the blue topaz, diamond drop earrings, $3,500, in addition to carrying her recently acquired purse by Etui Bags. We appreciate Royal Romance's quick identification of the earrings. You can see how much Kate's hair has grown out since we last saw her by looking at this picture. Just a short word regarding Princess Stephanie's attire. It is Paul K.A.'s satin back creep dress. $7.10, a euro 650. The dress is made of a triacetate and poly combination and is also available in black. Princess Stephanie, the hereditary Grand Duchess of Luxembourg, accompanied the Duchess. Kate began her tour at the Grand Duke Jean Museum of Modern Art, Mudum, Mudum Luxembourg, where six-year-old twins Gabriel and Charles gave her and Princess Stephanie flowers. Aren't those two adorable? The Duchess visited Mudum, shows featuring Sir Tony Cragg and Darren Armand, two British painters. The formal celebration of the Treaty of London's 1867 signing, which reaffirmed Luxembourg's independence and neutrality, is the main cause for the visit that day. The Duchess is pictured here attending a gathering with outstanding young Luxembourgers. The 35-year-old Duchess spoke with two-daughter professional cyclist Frank Schleck. We discussed how much they value bicycle riding. Kids benefit because they may exercise and, provided it's safe, attend school without their parents, according to Frank. She claimed that the couple's children have bicycles, and that they enjoy riding them. She had a peek at the jerseys that kids had painted for the July visit of the Tour de France to Luxembourg. At the Grand Ducal Palace, the Duchess was photographed with members of the Grand Ducal family. Princess Alexandra, Grand Duke Henri, the Duchess, Grand Duchess Maria Theresa, and hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume are pictured from left to right. The Luxembourg City Museum, which recently unveiled a new exhibit centered on Luxembourg's history, hosted the ceremony commemorating the signing of the 1867 treaty. As part of the celebration of the treaty signing, the Duchess and representatives of other nations sing for an official portrait. They are Germany, Austria, Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Great Britain, Hungary, Italy, and Russia. A UNESCO World Heritage City, the Cornish of Luxembourg's Old Town was visited by Kate and representatives from other nations. The most beautiful balcony in Europe, according to some, is the Cornish. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.